Gang, it's your girl, Lovey Natural, back at it again with another girl talk. Yes, ladies, in this girl talk video, I'm going to be telling you, okay, five things. I wrote these down. Five important things that's going to have a man just just, just wanting you. Like, he's just going to keep coming back for more and more and more. And the things that I got to tell you in this video is probably something obvious or something that you feel like, mm, really, is not that serious. That's what's going to make him want me more. But I'm telling you, the way I'm going to explain it to you, after this video, you're going to see what it is to hold down your man, to be a real woman. You're going to see what it is to, you know, to, to fulfill that wifey role. A lot of the times, guys go back to certain women all the time, whether they go back and forth. They go back to that certain woman because these women provide these things that I'm about to say in this video. I know for me, this is something that is a learning progress that I have to learn becoming a woman what a man craves because it's not your look sis is not gonna cut it okay i'm cute okay i'm cute as hell but that didn't say my past relationships i was in love with the dude you know what i'm saying because i wasn't the woman i was immature i wasn't the woman that you know deserving of you know to be in a relationship that you know allowed me to become somebody's wife like how how am i gonna be somebody's wife if i don't know how to be a wife you know what i'm saying like if i wasn't really taught these things you know growing up you know your, your parents can tell you but so much you gotta experience stuff as you go but without further ado guys before before I get into this juicy girl talk, please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Bella underscore bars. And yeah, let's get right into this video, guys. Woo! Okay, so number one is something that you probably hear all the time, but you don't understand why it's so important. Number one, if you want a guy to come to you, come back for more, honey, can't get enough of your ass, you got to cook for him. Yes, cook for him. That's number one. We live in a day and age where Uber Eats, Postmates, DoorDash, you know, it's so easy to have food delivered to your house or, you know what I'm saying, go out to eat, especially when you first start in a relationship. You guys go out to eat so much. That's why a lot of girls tend to gain weight in their relationship. Like, that's that love weight where, you know, you guys go out to eat, go, go and get drinks often. But, you want your man to sh you want your man to know that he's with a real woman and a real women cook. And when you cook, it's not about the food that you're giving him. You're taking time out. You're putting um tender love and care in what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And for a man, when a man sees that, oh wow, my my baby cooked for me, then in the back of him, his mind, he knows that as a wife, you'll be perfect because you know how to f feed y'all kids. Y'all ain't gonna go hungry. You know what I'm saying? You know he sees that it's more to you than just taking pictures and looking pretty. That wow, she knows how to throw down, you know, Thanksgiving, holidays, I know Christmas dinners, you know, when y'all get married, his family can come over and see, wow, like, his wife can cook. Cooking is a big deal. A lot of people think it's not that big of a deal, like, or, you know, maybe a man says, my man doesn't, um, my man doesn't care if I don't cook, like, he knows I can't cook, but he still love me. Yeah, but that love gonna grow old when he sees, when he come home from work and it's like, damn, like, you, you ain't cook? Like, no, babe, just order Chinese food. No. Like, you know what I'm saying? You want to cook from your heart. And I know me, like, if I cook, when I cook for somebody, like, it just makes me feel like a wifey. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Like, and he he will always remember you for that. Even if you guys don't work out, work out or not, he's be like, damn, I miss her cooking. And if you don't know how to cook, I learned how to cook from looking at my mom, but most importantly, YouTube. Like, if I want asparagus or, I don't know, if you don't even know how to make rice, like, trust me, sis, there's, there's how-tos for beginners on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about you can learn how to cook Spanish food, Haitian food. I'm Haitian, so, you know what I'm saying? It's so difficult for me to learn Haitian food, but I know how to make some rice, some chicken, some spaghetti, some lasagna. Like, I know, you know what I'm saying, breakfast. Like, I'm not, you don't have to be, like, the, the world's best cook, but you want your food to be edible, okay, to taste good. And when your man eats, it's like, wow, like, I'm a real woman, you know what I'm saying? That's what... What, that's what make a man crave for you. Like, damn, I love what she do for me. I love how she catered to me in that way. So cooking is number one. That's going to, okay, that's going to get him. That's going to get you that ring, sweetie. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All right, number two. You have to be his rock. And you're probably like, what? Like, how am I going to be my man's rock? Like, you got to hold down your man. And I'm not talking about hold him down like, you know, Whatever he, if he do something wrong to you, you still holding him down. No, that's a completely different thing. What I mean by be his rock is number two is you have to listen to your man. So many times we nag, you know, we saying what we hate that he did, or you know, babe, my day was so messed up today, and da 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 da. Why don't you take time out? You know what I'm saying? If you feel like your man is stressed, like, babe, you don't look like yourself. You're stressed out. Let him talk to you. You know what I'm saying? You like you have to let you guys need to understand that if you want a man to come back 
for come back to you and wanting more and more and more you got to be his peace and part of being his peace is listening to him i'm sorry Party being his peace is listening to him when a man knows that wow like my girl really listens to me and really feels me yo that could just that that's like that's so therapeutic because it'd be times i know it like with me like it'd be times where like i'm really going through it and the worst thing ever is to go through it and you tell you like your dude that you're messing with stuff and he's just like yeah you're gonna be all right like no like i need you to make your problems my problems like you ever had a friend where you tell her something like your friend tells you something like really sad or something like that and like you really like no don't worry sis like we, we got this we're gonna do this we're gonna do that do, do, do the same thing for your for your man all right if he's telling you what he's going through, don't be like, oh, damn, baby, that's crazy. Da, da, da. Be a solution. Maybe you can't really help him, but let him know that you're not only listening, but after you listen, you give him your best advice. You really, and if you're not good at giving advice, just him knowing that you're there for him and you concerned, just be concerned. Show your man some concern. When you do that, he might not say it, but he's going to appreciate you so much more and he's going to want more and more of you. I'm telling you. So if you guys agree with what I'm saying so far, um, just leave it a heart emoji if you feel what I'm saying and if you're going to do it. I'm telling you, if you do these things in this video, you're going to be wiped up, sis. Wiped up. Okay, because... Raise your hand if you want to be somebody's wife. Uh, hello, I'm going to raise both hands. Like, I just don't want to be single forever. And this is all learning progress. I remember when I didn't know how to cook and I used to be comfortable with telling dudes I didn't know how to cook. That's a turn off. Like I said, they ain't going to tell you. And also, I used to be the type, talk over you. I still be talking over people sometimes. <laughs> I need to stop that. But I I'm also such a healing spirit and I love healing my man. Like, I love when he can, when he feel comfortable, like, babe, like, I'm the first one he want to talk to because he know I'm going to say something to lift up his spirit. So, definitely listen to him. Number three, sis, you have to be patient with your man. If you want your man to come back for more and more, he, you have to show your man that even when he mess up, you still going to be there for him. And I'm not talking in a cheating sense. I'm talking about like, maybe you tell him some like a habit that he does and he keep doing it, but it's a habit. So it's hard for him to break out of it. But you know, eventually he will break out of that. Eventually, you know, the stuff that nags you about a guy, he's going to, he's going to stop doing it and not notice that he stopped doing it. Because you know what? Your man, if you're giving him peace, He's gonna want. He's gonna want to create a peaceful life for you as well. So sometimes, guys, we gotta tell them two, three times. They don't get it. But if a man really loves you, he's gonna change his ways. But don't be so quick to be down his throat. And like, see, why are you always late? Did it? I don't even want to go no more. Did it? Now you, you know, you're causing chaos in your relationship. If you know he has a bad habit or something, you know, eventually he's gonna stop doing it. Um, I mean, eventually, you just gotta be patient, and you'll know when. You're, you'll know when it's time to let go of him or or to stay and be patient with him. Because some guys abuse the fact that you're patient, but some guys, they're going to quickly stop doing what they're doing. And when you're patient with him, it shows that you're not going to leave. It shows that you're strong enough to know that, you know, you're mindful enough to know that he's not perfect. But, you you know what I'm saying? He's molding into the man that you want. But in the meantime, you know, you, you're not you know, down his throat about things that he should be doing or should not be doing. You know what I'm saying? Be patient. Nobody wants somebody to be nagging them all day, telling them what they should be doing all day, or why you don't show me attention, why you don't do that. Maybe your man is not used to being affectionate because growing up, he, he wasn't showing affection. You know, a lot of the times I used to, my fault in relationships, I used to think that, hello, you wasn't raised to like, to show me affection, to show me love. Like, what's wrong with you? Why are you so cold? And I had to realize, you know, I had a therapist one time, and I had to realize, she told me, like, not everybody was raised like you. Just because your mom told you, told you she loved you and stuff like that all the time doesn't mean his mom did. Doesn't mean he was hugged. Some I had friends where I was the first friend to tell them I love you and to mean it. And so every time we get a phone, like, I love you, you know, be safe. Or, you know, I had friends that, like, was like what like or guys that like wow i love how you care about me trust me like in this day and age i don't care how tough a dude is every man needs two women in his life his mother 
and his wifey. You know what I'm saying? And even if you his girlfriend, you wifey. If you could be patient with him, in his eyes, you wifey. He knows that, wow, I have a woman that's making me stronger, turning me into a better person, and she, she's not belittling me. She's not making me feel bad. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a child. When you're teaching a child, uh, when a child is, is learning a new math problem. Don't be that parent that's be like, okay, if I have five apples and I take away three, how much is that? And he's like, zero, and you beat him. No. You're making the person scared of you and not and kind of like you know resistant instead of like you know what i'm saying um embracing you what you want to do you want your man to embrace you honey and if you want him to embrace you you got to stop you got to let the, the small things go you got to even if it nags you because nobody's perfect nobody's perfect i know i probably do stuff that annoys somebody else but you know what i'm saying for you to love me anyway i'm gonna love you more for that so keep that in mind be patient number four this is very important if you want that man to keep coming back to you. You got to be, you got to compliment your man. Compliment him. I'm telling you, when you compliment a man, I know for me, when a man, when my man compliments me, and like, babe, you look beautiful. I love the way you did your hair. Oh, I love your lips or whatever. Like on a day-to-day -day basis, not even a day-to-day, -day, but often, he's feeding my confidence whether you know it or not he's building your self-esteem so you got to do is vice versa for your dude if you want your man to come back to you more and more if you want to be that wifey that wifey in his life compliment your man don't always look for compliments if he look nice tell me he looks nice he got a haircut acknowledge that he got a new haircut you know some women say oh i cheated on my man because he know he doesn't pay attention to me no more like i i changed my hair i changed the way I, my outfit looks my makeup looks and he still doesn't even show me attention so that's why i cheat and the same thing for guys a guy will cheat on you if he's not emotion if his needs are not met emotionally and that goes down to the, the smallest things I could compliment, I'm telling you. You might um end up getting cheated on. You ask him why, he's, like, he's going to be like, because I feel like you took me for granted. Like, you know, you never compliment me, this new girl, like I'm with. She always makes me feel good about her, good about myself. At the end of the day, everybody wants to feel good about themselves, and everybody wants the, the person that they're with to make them feel good about themselves. You know that quote, like, a man that loves you is not going to have you looking crazy. He's going to have you feeling yourself. It's the same thing if you have a dude. Make sure that you compliment your dude because when you do that, you're building his confidence. Not everybody that you think that is strong is confident. I was not that confident. I had to find it within myself, and I had to find it from other people, like my family, my mother always telling me, you're beautiful, you can do this. If I didn't have that, I'm not too sure if I would be sitting on this platform today. It's very important to, to support somebody and to always compliment them, like not excessively, especially when you see they're down. Just do it. You ever see somebody in the street? I, I, I dare you guys to do that. See somebody in the street um, that, that looks sad? Just compliment them. Oh, I love your hair. And you're going to see, like, they're going to be like, thank you. And they're moved. They, they just change. They just light up. It's crazy. Like, you, the people that you think, the, 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 it's crazy how what, what one compliment could do for somebody's day. I'm telling you. And it's crazy because that same compliment, it's just like when somebody's telling you, oh, um, damn, girl, you gained weight. You're going to be thinking about that comment all day. As opposed to, girl, you're looking good. Now it's going to make you feel like, damn, such and such, I'm starting to look good. You know? So it's, it's going to make them want to keep up that look. It's going to make them want to keep looking good. You know what I'm saying? The power in telling somebody a compliment is huge. So if you want to keep coming back for more, compliment him and build his confidences. Now the final thing, number five, before I let you guys go is, okay, I said this before. And how my how to be spicy in the bedroom video. Don't be boring in bed. If you want a man to keep coming back for more, of course I can't say if you want a guy to keep coming back for more without adding sex to it. Honey, if you're not comfortable with sex or you feel insecure, if you with a man, you don't deserve to be with a man. Okay? Get don't don't be so insecure about your body, what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Engage in in sex and make it worth his while you know what i'm saying you don't know how to do it google it go on youtube watch porn i don't know do whatever it takes but you don't want him to be like yo damn this is the worst head i ever got or this is the worst all this girl want to do is lay on her back maybe do all the work no sis you need to know how to ride you need to know how to do whatever he likes to do you know as long as it's not like him 
choking you to death, killing you to death. You know what I'm saying? Don't be boring. You want your man to come, be excited to sleep with you. Some dudes be like, nah, babe, I'm tired. They're not really tired. They're just tired of your boring ass. You know what I'm saying? Don't be boring because it's a Keisha down the block that ain't boring that would throw that ass back to your man. And guess what? Now he's putting a ring on Keisha's, Keisha's hand and not yours. Okay? So that was... That was my five things on how, you know, to have a guy keep coming back for more. I hope you guys like this girl talk. Until next time, don't be boring. Listen to your man. Compliment him. Be patient. Cook and do all of that, guys. I love you so much. And I, like I said, I hope you found this video very useful, Bella Gang. Love you guys.